This planet that we call home literally depends on the work of engineers. From efficient transportation, power grids, medical devices, infrastructure, rockets, etc, etc. And you mean to tell me that there are people out there telling us engineering students that our degree isn't worth it? Bro, engineers are literally the unsung heroes of society. Furthermore, the engineers who have worked relentlessly, who have come before us, have paved the path forward for us to study engineering. So whether you're deciding on enrolling into engineering or you're already an engineering student but in doubt of the degree, I'm here to tell you that engineering is the freaking best. Let's start off by talking about the heroism of engineering. Because engineering is literally the most heroic degree out there, the most heroic career out there. And I 100% stand by that. You can't change my mind. Because look around you. Look at this house, look at this, this microphone right here. Look at the, the fridge in the background, my sink in the background. Um, fucking light bulb right here, fucking a street light out there. These cars passing by me in the outside the window. Everything in this world is built by engineers. You're watching this video on a phone, aren't you? Or on a laptop, whatever you're watching this on, it was made by an engineer, developed by an engineer. Imagine the world without engineers. Just imagine, if there were no engineers in this world, there would be no medical devices that would save human lives. If there were no engineers in this world, there would be no efficient forms of transportation so you could visit your family halfway across the fucking globe. If there were no engineers in this world, then there would be no hope to reverse climate change and reverse global warming so that our future bloodline could survive and see a better future. And you know, you could argue that uh, police are more heroic or doctors are more heroic and no disrespect to them. Of course, I'm 100% grateful for them and I appreciate their service to us, to keeping us safe from criminals and keeping us healthy. But I'm just saying like, we don't get much credit as we should. Doctors use equipment that engineers develop and they depend on that equipment. Police uh, depend on the equipment like um, bulletproof vests, like the, the shields, like the material of the shields. Um, the cars that they drive, and even the weapons that they use to secure um, criminals. So I'm here to tell you that engineers is literally the most heroic career out there. Engineers are the unsung heroes of society. So if you're questioning whether engineering is worth it, the degree is worth it, whether you should stay or drop out, whether you should enroll or not enroll, just join engineering, stay in engineering no matter where you're at. I'm just telling you it's worth it. You can be a hero through engineering. You can make money through engineering. You can find fulfillment in life through engineering. It is so important for me to tell you this message. That's the whole reason that I started this channel. That's the whole reason that I'm up on a Sunday morning spreading the message on YouTube. So please just understand that your career after you study engineering will be absolutely amazing and you will have such a big impact in this world. So be grateful that you have the opportunity to be an engineering student because there are people out there who would give everything, literally give everything to be an engineering student. Whether it's a teen who can't afford the, the university costs or it's a poor child in a third world country or something who uh, doesn't have any chance of getting any education at all. Or whether it's a full grown adult who doesn't have the support from his parents to go into engineering school. If you don't believe me, I literally have the biography of Nikola frickin' Tesla right here. I'm reading this book right now. You're gonna see a lot of lessons uh, in the coming videos. But let me tell you just one story from this book, okay? When Nikola Tesla was 18 years old, before he, he enrolled into engineering school, he didn't have the support from his father to go into engineering. His father would not pay for his tuition. His father would not allow him to leave home to go study there. But one day Nikola Tesla, was ter he became terribly sick from the cholera disease. His condition deteriorated, developing, quote unquote by Nikola Tesla, into dropsy pulmonary trouble and all sorts of diseases until finally my coffin was ordered. He got into such a bad condition that he was expected to die. And then one day, while Nikola Tesla was terribly sick, probably like the worst condition that he's ever been in, his father rushed to his side and encouraged him to rally his strength. Looking up at his father, pallid and anxious face, Tesla said, perhaps I may get well if you will let me study engineering. That's how much engineering meant to him. And then his father, despite not supporting it, promised him that he would enroll Nikola Tesla into the best technical institution in the world. A heavy weight was lifted from my mind. On the strength of this promise, along with a little help 
from an herbal cure, a bitter decoction of a peculiar bean, Tesla came back to life. Tesla came back to fucking life. That's how much engineering meant to this man. That's how grateful he was to have the opportunity to study engineering, that he literally had more life force instilled into him. So you should be grateful, shouldn't you? <laughs> if there are people out there who would literally get life, more life force by having the opportunity to study engineering, I think you should be grateful to be in the position you're at right now, that you're in engineering school and you have, you have had the opportunity to enroll into engineering school. You have this opportunity to develop, to develop humanity towards an unbelievable greater future. Is that not fucking amazing? Is that not so flipping purposeful, man? So just be present in the moment and appreciate, be grateful for this opportunity that you are in right now, that you're faced with. Now let's talk about acquiring experience as an engineering student. Now acquiring experience, it doesn't actually depend on your grades. Because look at any job posting out there, go on LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Indeed, whatever site, and search up a role for an engineer, any type of engineer. You know, good luck finding any position out there that requires you to have a 4.0 perfect GPA. Because none of the recruiters in the engineering industry actually wants that. They want other type of experience. And one of the forms is personal projects. You can make projects independent on whatever industry you want to get into in the engineering field and independent of whatever engineering role you want to fulfill. You can make projects requiring code. You can make projects requiring 3D printing, CAD, FEA, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, anything, anything, even Gantt charts. Now, let me tell you the story of how I started making projects. So just so you know, an example, I myself initially wanted to get into the heavy machinery industry in the engineering field. And my desired role in this type of industry was a mechanical design engineer. So I started making projects based on mechanisms to begin with, which was pretty simple. I used tools like CAD and 3D printing, which further developed my design skills, mechanical design skills and prototyping skills. Then I stepped it up by making models of machinery and also printing them again. Then I got to the point where I was making my own designs, which also implemented the theoretical knowledge like fluid mechanics, gear principles, and even stress principles. Now, when it came time to apply for internships, I landed an internship within only two weeks of hunting, two weeks when it takes people a month to get an internship. And I secured it because I had these projects. You might be thinking, oh, you must have had some other advantage, but no, I had no connections, no design club experience. I know, crazy. No industrial experience, no research experience with professors. And I didn't even join the co-op program held at my university. The only thing that I had was my own personal projects. Yet I still landed the internship faster than most of the students in my cohort. This is the power of having projects that you made on your own and that you initiated. Isn't that sick? Getting experience is fun. Look at how much fun I was having making these projects that I mentioned earlier. This was honestly probably my best, my most fun year in engineering school because I was making real engineering projects, projects that was similar to the work that I would be doing once I graduated. It's not, not fucking amazing. You get to choose which path you want to take as an engineer by choosing which industry you want to go into and which role you want to fulfill. And then you can get experience by just making projects on your own. Is that not fun as hell? So start making projects. If you need further guidance and need further mentorship on what types of projects you should make, then join the prog program linked down in the description. I teach you exactly how through calls and through a course. Now this chapter of the video is a warning because since engineering is the best degree out there, you can't get derailed from your mission, from your mission as an engineer. There are so many um, distractions out there, right? You don't want to overindulge in uh, like drinking and overindulge in parties or, or, or none of that. Because the greatest engineers were fucking locked in. I was fucking locked in when I was making my project and I was still having fun. More fun than anyone doing these parties and getting hung over in the morning. It's not fun being hung over in the morning, is it? In the middle of the day, I was making projects. Early in the morning, I was making projects. But I was only able to develop my career as an engineering student and clear the trajectory for me to reach my dream career as an engineer because I avoided the distractions of college. Don't let any of those degenerates out there pull you in and uh, stray you away from your purpose. There might be some pretend engineers, what I call, 
in your class that are telling you to cheat, that are telling you to go out with them on a party. You might think you're fine, but even Nikola Tesla was derailed from his mission of becoming an engineer when he was a second year engineering student. So there was this German dude that Nikola Tesla met, right? And this German guy was really jealous, really, really jealous that Nikola Tesla was excelling in his classes. So this German guy, he goes up to Nikola Tesla. He's like, yo, you're wasting your time studying so much, man. Go hang out with us, come drink with us, come gamble with us. And Nikola Tesla trying to impress them, he was like, okay, I will go hang out with you guys. And then he ended up staying up late, smoking, drinking, playing uh, gambling games, all of these uh, billiards, chess, all of that. And you know, that could be fun like once in a while, but he, he continued to do that. And that derailed him from his mission. Now, I'm not saying all this shit to uh, shit on Nikola Tesla. No, Nikola Tesla is one of the greatest engineers of all time, if not the greatest engineer of all time. But I'm saying that you're gonna have these temptations to be derailed from your mission as an engineer. Nikola Tesla was, and he fell for it. So you're not really, you're not really safe in this modern day, especially of uh, hookup culture, all of this um, drinking culture, parties all fucking night, all that kind of stuff. So make sure that you're not getting derailed and make sure that you stay on your mission. Nikola Tesla missed on so much because he was derailed and he even lost his scholarship that he was on at the time and he took a gap year after this experience. Nikola Tesla obviously went back into his studies eventually and he obviously achieved great things in his life, but you may not have that sense to snap back into your mission, so just be careful. In conclusion, engineering is the most heroic degree out there. Acquiring experience is more fun than you think in engineering. And lastly, warning, do not be derailed from your mission. Click the top link in the description if you need further help on building projects. I mentor you inside but through calls. And there's also a community where you could collaborate with other engineering students around the world, no matter what type of industry you want to get into. I can't wait to see you inside. Thank you for watching this video and I hope I taught you something new. I'll see you next time.